Hi everybody, it's Mike Celestino from LaughingPlace.com and no, you are not experiencing deja vu. I had received this box last week from Disney Parks Experiences and Products and now I have received this box from Hasbro, the toy company, very popular toy company that makes a lot of Star Wars toys and has for a long time. So I'm going to open this up. It's for Star Wars Day, May the 4th be with you and it was sent to us by Hasbro, so thank you to Hasbro for sending this over. Nothing on the back. Let's pop this open. I have not seen what's inside here yet, so let's check it out. Wow! A lot of fun stuff. Let's see. We got a letter from Hasbro saying, Happy May the 4th be with you. Hello there. Got some stuff from the Archive Collection, Vintage Collection, Retro Collection, Lightsaber Forge, and others. Let's check it out. Of course, we got some Obi-Wan Kenobi because that's the big thing happening in Star Wars this month. We got a vintage collection Star Wars Attack of the Clones Obi-Wan Kenobi. That's a three and three quarter inch scale. So I'm excited to open that up in a moment. We also got, once again, the Star Wars Black Series Archive Collection Obi-Wan Kenobi, which you saw me unbox in that previous video from D-Pep. So I won't be opening this up. I'll be keeping this in the package because we've already got that open. But uh, I could show you the figure just to see you, uh, just to show you what it's like outside of the packaging to get an idea of that. Let's see what else we have here. Vintage Collection, Star Wars, The Mandalorian, Bo-Katan Kree's Three and three quarter inch scale. That's cool. I don't have that yet. That's um, a very nice figure from the Mandalorian. I like that a lot. There's the back of the card. Um, what else? We've got um, a Grogu. More Grogu's from the Bounty Collection. Series four of the Bounty Collection. This is him hiding in a pot. Let's see what else we got here. Grogu stepping in some goo, is that what that is? I guess so. Uh, Grogu eating the little blue macarons. Grogu with the ice spiders all over him. Um, there's a Grogu <laughs> eating, or oh no, he's petting the uh, frog lady's uh, little tadpole son there in that one. And then playing with the blue butterflies on Tython. All right, now we've got a vintage collection. Oh, Mandalorian's like intentionally weathered this card. Retro, retro collection actually. Boba Fett on Morak from the Mandalorian. So this is the first time when he uh, shows up with the the black under Under Armour costume there, and teams up with. The Mandalorian, and they travel to Morak with uh, Bill Burr's character, Migs Mayfeld, to travel to the planet Morak and retrieve the location of Moff Gideon's ship. So that's uh, him there on that planet. Then we've got the Black Series, the new Ahsoka Tano figure, which is very exciting. This is uh, the version played by... Rosario Dawson. Uh, Ahsoka has, of course, been released in the Black Series before, but it's the animated version, uh, voiced by Ashley Eckstein. So this is um, the face of Rosario Dawson. Every time the actor shows up on set, I think they scan them now to have the accurate likeness in the action figure. So that's cool. Excited to have that. What else do we have here? Lightsaber Forge. Mace Windu's purple. Lightsaber, again, with these lightsaber forges, they don't quite look like the in-universe ones. They're more intended to be, you know, banged around and played with by kids. So this one uh, doesn't quite match the actual hilt of Mace Windu's lightsaber, but it's still a fun toy for kids to play with. Um, what else do we have? We've got Mission Fleet Delta Seven Jedi Starfighter with Ahsoka Tano. Wow, that's a cool one. I like that. 
And we've got another mission fleet. It's Luke Skywalker's X-Wing from Return of the... No, oh no, this is from The Mandalorian, actually, because Grogu's there. And Luke can fly around in the X-Wing with Grogu. That's pretty funny. I like that. That's something we've seen before in, in toys, so that's cool. Luke and Grogu together in the X-Wing. And, of course, Grogu can fly in the X-Wing by himself, and R2 will pilot it back to... Tatooine. Let's see. Uh, Mission Fleet Gauntlet Starfighter with a Mandalorian. Oh, that's Bo Katan. Yeah, okay. Bo Katan's helmet there. And she's got the shield. Very neat. Gauntlet Starfighter with Bo Katan Kreese. And lastly, there's another lightsaber forge. This one is Luke Skywalker's. I want to say that we've received this one in one of the other Hasbro boxes, but I'll take a look. Um, so, like, this one actually does kind of resemble Luke's lightsaber from the, the films. So that's cool. But these can be mixed and matched. You can take the parts off and match them with some of the other lightsabers. So I'm going to start unboxing these, and we'll take a look at what's inside all of these packages. So let's get going. So yeah, I did double check, and Hasbro actually has sent me this Luke Skywalker lightsaber forge lightsaber already. It's a cool toy. Uh, it, it is, um, you know, you can separate all these pieces out here. Forget how that works. Let's pop that out like that. Light, the kyber crystal inside there and stuff. Yeah, uh, I've already reviewed this with one of my previous unboxings, so I think I'm going to leave this in the package and maybe give it to... Toys for Tots or something this year. But just to show you what it does look like out of the package, the Lightsaber Forge is a fun collection. Let me move this to the side. I also wanted to show you the Obi-Wan Kenobi figure that I did already unbox in the previous video from Disney Parks Experiences and the Products. So there's what Obi-Wan looks like outside of the package. Here's the back of the box and the back of Obi-Wan. So uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi coming to Disney Plus Friday, May 27th. Okay, I think I'm going to start opening these little Grogu's here. And we'll start with the one where he's making friends with that little tadpole. Let's pop this baby open. So this is called the Bounty Collection. And there's little Grogu with the tadpole in a little bowl. Oh boy. These get more and more adorable with each series. Just kind of crouched down there, kneeling over, petting the little tadpole. Oh, there's the bottom. That is the definition of cute right there. Put him there. Next one is going to be Grogu hiding in the, uh, he's actually in the spittoon, I just realized from the Mandalorian episode, The Marshal. Um, let's open this up. When they go and meet Cobb Vanth in Mos Pelgo. And he hides in that spittoon. Let's get this open here. Okay, there he is. There's little Grogu. Adorable as ever. Hiding in the gross spittoon in that cantina. And Mos Pelgo. Another nice one. Okay, next up we've got... I, I'm having trouble placing when this happens, or if this happens in The Mandalorian, or when Grogu shows up in the Book of Boba Fett. It's just, it's Grogu's covered in, oh, it's snow. I thought it was some kind of goo, or like melted <laughs> marshmallow man or something, but no, it's snow uh, from when they, uh, the ship crashes on that planet with the ice spiders. Okay, he's walking around in the snow. <laughs> And he's got some snow flakes on him, too. That's cool. Nice detail there. I like that a lot. I feel like these are getting better. Really, honestly, like the sculpting is nicer on each of these series. This is a good series to collect. We have some of the previous ones, but boy, I'm liking these even more every time. This is the uh, Bounty Collection. All right, next up, from that same planet, 
uh, from the Mandalorian, the ice planet that they crash land on with the ice spiders. Here's Grogu <laughs> covered with the spiders. He's not looking too happy here. He's got two spiders on him, one on his head and one on his little potato sack there. He's just looking pretty uh, frustrated and angry with those guys. Very cute, though, still. And now we've got the butterfly from Tython. Something about those butterfly butterflies, the blue butterflies that show up. On Tython, when he sits, right before he sits on that seeing stone thing. Aww. Got one on his finger there. There's the back side, there's the bottom. Grogu. And last but definitely not least from that collection today is Grogu eating the blue macarons. I think that episode's called The Siege and they're back on the planet Navarro with Grief Karga and Cara Dune when they go and uh, retake that Imperial base, blow it up. But Grogu has to stay behind and uh, sit in that little school and he ends up stealing those that kid's uh, blue cookies, blue back macaroons, and he throws them up on the Razor Crest later on. But there he is, very cute. You got the packaging, you got the cookies, what more do you need? There we go. Okay, next let's dive into some of this Mission Fleet stuff. This one's going to be Luke's X-Wing. Just going to tear right into this here. Okay, so we got a nice little Luke figure in his black Jedi gear. With the cloak. And then the X Wing is in this smaller cardboard box. And then there's a smaller bag inside. I'm sure this is going to have uh, more parts of the X Wings. Yep, of the X Wing. Here we go. Yep. Uh, actual laser cannon parts and then oops you got little Grogu there let's see this Grogu is tiny <laughs> as you may have guessed he's very small oh there he is look at that very tiny little mission fleet Grogu and here's the laser cannons I'm gonna put these on the X-Wing And then we can put Luke and Grogu in the cockpit so they can go on adventures together before Grogu decides to return to his best buddy Din Djarin, the Mandalorian. I like that Luke does fit. Oh, let me see. Yeah, does seem to fit in the cockpit with his cloak on, so that's good. And then you could put... Grogu, Grogu just sits right there on his lap. Why not? Close the cockpit. Look at that. Look how adorable that is. And there's R2. R2 is not removable, but you can swivel his head back and forth. So there you go. Very nice. This is, again, of course, the Mission, <clears throat> Mission Fleet collection for younger kids. And I think that's a terrific toy for young kids. Let's put this... Down, we'll move on to the next mission fleet, which is the Gauntlet Starfighter. Open this up. Okay, there's a Bo-Katan figure. Let's get a look at her. Nice detailing on the helmet. Very good. Backside there. Okay. And let's get the ship out of here. Oh, I forgot to show you 
Luke's lightsaber from the previous one. I had dropped it on the floor and never picked it up, but there you go. So that will go. Let's just put it in the cockpit with Luke and Grogu here. They can bring the lightsaber with them wherever they're traveling. Oh, doesn't quite all fit. There we go. Nice. Great. Okay, how does this ship go together? Let's see. But this goes like this. And this goes like this. Bo-Katan has a jetpack, or the Rising Phoenix, as they call it. There's also a little cannon included with a projectile that shoots out. Let's see. Yep. That works. And this looks like it's probably a mount. You would think I would read the instructions for this stuff, but who has time for that? I recommend reading the instructions, actually. So she's also got two little blasters here, which is cool. She has holsters on her hips, but they don't work. So this, these figures are too tiny to have working holsters and removable helmets, which I always look for in my larger scale action figures. So here's the second blaster I'll put in her right hand. Okay, now she can be in a John Woo movie. And she's also got this energy shield that she can wear on her arm. A little blue energy shield. There you go. Cool. Now, this cannon, is this supposed to be mounted on the ship or is this just a separate weapon? It looks kind of like a E-Web blaster. But let's see. Um, oh, I see. It's saying that I guess it can go on either wing if you want, or it just can be mounted on its own. I think we're going to leave it off the ship because it looks cooler to me that way. But let's put Bo Katan in the cockpit of her ship. Her little starfighter here. Can she go in with all this gear on her, is the question. With the jetpack and all her weapons and the shield. Mm, <laughs> it's a tight squeeze. Maybe not. But let's take off the jetpack and see if that works. That's more like it. Okay, she's in there. You can see her. Yeah, there she is. Uh, let me see if I can tuck the jetpack in there with her so I don't lose it. There you go. That is called the Gauntlet Starfighter with Bo Katan Kreese. Let's put her back here. Leave the X wing over there. Put this on the side. Up next, we've got Ahsoka Tano in the Delta Jedi, Delta 7 Jedi Starfighter. There's the Starfighter. What is the name of this droid? I'm not a big Clone Wars guy, so I don't know offhand, but I'm sure somebody out there knows what this droid's name is. I do like the look of this Starfighter. And here's Ahsoka herself. Let's pop her out here. I think this is uh, her earlier outfit from the series. Ugh. There we go. So there's Ahsoka. Let's open this bag. This probably has her lightsaber and everything in it. Let's get this opened. Yep, there's lights. Oh, two, double. Right. 
Does she have green blades at this point? Maybe she does. But Ahsoka does come with the dual lightsabers. Let's have her hold those. Number one. And number two. Let's take a look at her. There she is. Pretty nice little figure. Backside over here. And then there's another one of these cannons. So let's take a look at You've got three peg holes here, and then here's the cannon. So you can mount this there if you want. You can put it on the front of the ship. And this does have a projectile as well. You just press this green button to fire that. Let's mount this one. We'll put this one on the front so you can shoot up the Trade Federation. And you could also just mount it on the ground with these uh, this kind of tripod set up. But we'll leave it on the ship for this one. And let's see if we can get Ahsoka into the cockpit here. How does this open? Like that. I'm guessing we're going to have to remove the lightsabers. Oh, I removed her hand. <laughs> okay, there she is, Ahsoka Tano, in the cockpit. I'm going to put her lightsabers in there as well, so I don't lose them. We'll close the cockpit up. Cool. Nice Jedi starfighter there with Ahsoka Tano from the Clone Wars. Okay, let's dive into some of these action figures. We got Bo-Katan Kreese again from the Vintage Collection, the three and three quarter inch scale. Here's the backside. I always like looking to see what other figures are available. I've got the Mithril, so I bought a bunch of the Mandalorian ones, uh, and IG-11 I have, but then you got Lobot. Uh, I think I have the Kuil, Bib Fortuna, Rebel Soldier from Hoth, uh, and Lando. I've got all the older versions of those, but um, this is what's available now from this series, Vintage Collection. Let's pop these open and take out Bo-Katan. Let's see. This one does have a removable helmet, which I love. And she's got two blasters. Does she have working holsters? Yes, she does. So meets all my criteria. Let's put the helmet on Bo-Katan here. Oh, <laughs> so guess what I just figured out? It's not a removable helmet. It's a removable head. Pop that off. Pop the helmet on. That's how Bo-Katan gets her helmet on and off. Just like in the series, you know, when she takes her head off and puts a different head on with the helmet on it. And she can hold her blasters. I understand why they do that though because uh, I think at this scale it's tough to mold the helmet correctly and have it fit on the head. So instead they just have a, a switch off, a switch out head. There's a Here's what the head looks like on its own. But we're gonna, I'm gonna put the blasters in the holsters because I just love that feature. Put that one in there. We'll put that one in there. And instead of holding her blasters, we're gonna have her hold her severed head in her arms here. Oh wait, she can just hold, because she's got a peg here, so let's have her hold that. Look at that, perfect. I love that scene in the finale of The Mandalorian Season 2 when this happens. Remember that? <laughs> anyway, great, great, nice figure from the vintage collection, Bo-Katan Kreese. Next up, we're going to do Obi-Wan Kenobi, another Obi-Wan. This one's in the, again, this is the Vintage Collection, three and three quarter inch scale. Oh, different, different figures on the back. Ahsoka, Anakin Skywalker. This is the Obi-Wan we've got right now. Mace Windu, Yoda, 
Fennec Shand, Death Watch Mandalorian, and a clone trooper from the 501st Legion. Let's pop him open. Like the cloth robe, classic kind of cloth robe on him here. And he comes with, oh, a comm link. So he, his accessories are a lightsaber and the little comm link that he can call Anakin for help or whatever. Let's see if we can get that in his hand. Which way does this go? Okay, so I got the little comm link in his hand there. Let's see if we can get some focus. There we go. And I got the lightsaber in his other hand. And again, you got the nice robe with the hood and everything. He can wear that down. He can wear it up. Here's the back of the robe. It's Obi-Wan. Ewan McGregor. Coming soon to Disney+. Plus. Not to, He's going to look a little older than a couple, uh, a decade or so older than that. Let's put him here by the other Obi-Wan. And then we'll do the Retro Collection Boba Fett from Morak. Let's pop him open. No figures on the back. Oh, perfect. Got a uh, blaster cannon and a blaster. So let's see. We got two blasters, a holster that doesn't work, but that's fine. It kind of fits with the retro theme. Those wouldn't have had working blasters because these are in the style. This retro collection's in the style of the original Kenner line of Star Wars toys. They even did the jetpack with the non-firing missile. That's actually kind of funny that they molded this jetpack off the original non-firing Boba Fett figure that would have come out right before the Empire Strikes Back. Let's see if we can just put these weapons in Boba's hands. And just like those old figures, this only has one, two, three, four, five points of articulation. One for the neck, two for the arms, and two for the legs. But I like the look of this, the retro style. I like the simple, simple paint job and the simpler sculpt. It's a fun kind of throwback thing. Not something that I collect, but I appreciate the idea behind it for sure. Okay. Our last action figure we're going to look at is the Black Series. Ahsoka Tano from The Mandalorian. Played by Rosario Dawson. Let's open this up here. Now she's got the white bladed lightsabers. As you've seen in the show. And there is... Ahsoka in all her glory. Nice detail. Nice paint job. There's the backside. I love these six inch scale figures for sure. Let's put the lightsabers in her hands. Just want to check. Yes, there are removable blades, which is great. But I went ahead and put the blades back in. You can also, if you want to. So let me d just demonstrate that you can remove the blade and attach the hilts to her side here. Let me see how that works. Okay, so there's a little hook on the hilt. And the hilt will attach to her hip. I think that's terrific. Love that kind of detail, but we'll have her hold her dual lightsabers there. Really nice, really nice figure of Rosario Dawson as Ahsoka Tano, as seen in the live-action Disney Plus series The Mandalorian, and in one episode of The Book of Boba Fett, and in the upcoming Star Wars Ahsoka TV series. Let's check out some of her articulation. She can sit. She can bend her arms and move her head around and her hip swivels as well. 
So you can put her in all sorts of poses. Really nice figure. Like that a lot. That's going to go on my shelf for sure. Okay, lastly from this box, we're going to do the lightsaber forge Mace Windu lightsaber, which I don't believe I've seen in person before. Let's pop this open. You've got uh, four different elements here. Some of these need to be cut out with scissors, so let's do that. Okay. And now that we've got everything free, you can pop it all together. So here's the bottom, and that'll go into here. And then the emitter pops into the top like this. You kind of have to screw it on like that. Okay. And then the purple blade, oh, no, I did that wrong. So, unscrew the emitter, let's collapse the blade, put the blade through the emitter, and then screw the emitter back on. And you got Mace Windu's purple lightsaber from the Lightsaber Forge. Again, this is for younger kids to bang around uh, and have lightsaber fights with. It's not really an adult targeted collectible, but that's cool. Neither are these mission fleets and they're awesome. And, you know, kids want to fight with lightsabers, so why not uh, get them the mission fleet, sorry, the lightsaber forge collection. A uh, great way to mix and match, build your own lightsabers. I think that's pretty cool. You can take the base of this hilt off, put it on the Luke Skywalker one. Let's Let's show you. Let's demonstrate that. Okay, so I got the bottom off of that, and we'll do the same with the Luke one over here. Now, Luke's has a kyber crystal, which, uh, oh yeah, look, this is kind of representing the kyber crystal in Mace Windu's, but, so this is the base of Luke's hilt, and that'll just pop in right here like this, just like I said. So now you have Luke's, uh, the base of Luke's hilt on Mace Windu's lightsaber, and all the pieces are interchangeable in that way. And this just goes right back in here. Very cool. And Mace Windu's back together. Nice. And here's everything that came in that May the 4th Be With You box from Hasbro, so thank you so much to Hasbro for sending that over to us to unbox and take a look at for you guys. I'm a big action figure guy, so those are my favorite elements, my favorite products that came in this box. But that Mission Fleet collection is pretty sweet as well, and you gotta love these adorable little Grogu's. And like I said, the Lightsaber Forge collection is a nice toy for younger kids to play around with and bang around. But there's a lot of great Star Wars products available this May the 4th, especially from Hasbro. My name is Mike Celestino from LaughingPlace.com. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you real soon. Bye.